scripture reading. And it reads, I have received of the Lord that which also I have seen and have given unto you that the Lord Jesus the same night in which he was betrayed to the earth. Yes. And he had given thanks to break you and say, mm -hmm. Take this in my life. Which is broken for you. Show not this to him.
And I'd rather be than in the house of the Lord. Somebody say they want to be in a vault. You ask the rich man, with vault money help you if you don't know Jesus? Amen. First John, the first chapter. And we're going to be brief. Is that all right? Is that all right? We'll be brief. You know, somebody say free, but we still will be brief. If it's still too long, I don't want folks to say I'm glad to see him get up and glad to see him sit down. Amen. First John, the first chapter, go down to the fifth verse. I will be reading my brother and sister in Christ from the King James Version. This then is the message which we've heard of him and declare unto you that God is a light and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Yes. God's way for the saints of God, and God's way is already blessed. I want to talk briefly from the subject, the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from sin. The blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Now, the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Now, now, as I began to look here at this lesson, uh, 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 fellowship, you, you found that word, fellowship, in there. Amen? Now, fellowship, can I take my time? Describes a situation where, where two or more persons share things in common. It is a communion or partnership John now undertakes to instruct his readers as the requirement for fellowship with God. Can I talk to you here? In doing so, he appeals to the teaching of the Lord Jesus when he was here on earth. Although the Lord is not quoted as you having used these exact words, the sum and substance of his teaching was that God is light. And in him there is no darkness. Can I talk to you? I'm told of a woman that had a dream about an angel. Her pastor asked her what color was the angel. She said the angel was black. The, 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 the pastor told her, God is light. And in him there is no darkness at all. What John means here is that God is absolutely holy. Absolutely righteous and absolutely pure. Y'all don't get that? God cannot look with favor on any form of sin. Can I say that again? God cannot look favor on any form of, of sin. Now, 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 you don't need to uh, uh, encourage folks in their sin. Sin is sin. Whether I do it or whether you do it. Hello, somebody. God, I'm going to say it again, cannot look favor with favor on any forms of sin. Nothing is hidden from him. But all things are naked and open to the eyes of him to whom we must give an account. He sees everything. He sees as well in the dark as he does in the daytime. Don't talk to me here. Now it follows that in order for us, uh, 
present to be in fellowship with God, there can be no hiding of sin. Come on, come on somebody. There can be no hiding of sin. Peter leaves the point. Number one, we must recognize our sin. Hello, somebody. We must recognize our sin. Trump will say that was a little sin. That was a big sin. The Bible says all unrighteousness is sin. Now, we don't say communion today. I don't want you to look at nobody. We need to take a look at ourselves. Hello, somebody. All unrighteousness is sin. True fellowship with God hinges on our ability to admit our sin. Folks don't want to admit their sin. Own it up to what you're doing wrong. For God forgives sin, but we must admit it before it can be forgiven. Come on, talk to me. The Bible says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Is that all right? Now, now I still recognize this sin. Those that was in Bible class on this night realized that I still recognize this sin. He said, woe is me. Praise the Lord. I am undone. Because I am a man of unclean lips. And I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. A lot of us dwell got unclean lips. We cuss everything we live our say. Every other word is a cuss word. But yet still I'm on my way. You're on your way, on your way well. God did not look favorable there upon no sin. That's what the rich young ruler said, good master. What good thing must I do that I may have eternal life? He's not looking at what he's doing wrong. We don't need to let worldly folk viewpoints concerned with the dealing of sin. Come on, evolution says man is on his way up. Sin is the issue. Hello, somebody. Education says man can be taught to live without sin. Can be taught to live without sin. Science says saw the problem and mysteries of nature, and man can be set free from sin. Come on, talk to me, y'all. Uh, Holy Greek. Yeah. Is that all right? Sociologists say sin is the byproduct of unhealthy environment. Psychologists say, talk about yourself long enough, focus on what you need, and eventually you can eliminate your own guilt. They can lie on toe. Religion says, learn the doctrine, practice the ritual, and do good things, and you will feel better about yourself, and God will accept you. No, sir. None, my brothers and sisters, may write of these words, because there's none of these deal with the problem of sin. Hello, somebody. A lot of times a person has a toothache. They'll go get something and put on the tooth. Around the tooth. Kill the pain. You're dealing with the symptom, not the issue. Talk to them, George. A, a lot of us deal with the symptom. I, I, I lied, but my lie is not big as what Mary Sue told. Got sick. Told the Lord, Lord, if you just bless me to get up out of this sick bed, I'm going to go to church. I'm going to go to Sunday school. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And then the Lord bless you to get up. Oh, we have to go with the church, though. <laughs> Come on, talk to me. We must, first of all, recognize our sin. Wrong. Is what? Wrong. Regardless of who does it. I'm gonna finish in a minute. Is that all right? There's no need to look around at somebody else. Take a look at yourself. God, read George Russell, never told us to judge nobody. He said, judge not. That he be not judge. I, I'm preaching to myself too. Number one is we have to recognize our sin. And then, my brother, so when we recognize it, we got to do what? Repent of our sin. If we will recognize our sin and confess it to God and truly repent of that sin, he will absolutely forgive us and cleanse us 
for my sin. I'll still say, I'll be good if you meant that. All right? Come now. Let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins be as God, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crystal, they shall be as wool. We need to repent. The church say repent. Yes. Of our sin. Yes. Don't look at nobody else. Uh, take a look down yourself. Ah, uh, you do remember a little short man by the name of Zacchaeus. Uh, he was chief among the publican. And he was rich. Ah, uh, he wasn't as tall physically that I am. Because I can look over crowds. Uh-huh. He sought to see Jesus. Can I preach to y'all? But he could not for the press. Because he was a, a little of stature. The Bible said he ran and climbed up a sycamore tree. You know it? To see him, for he was the past that way. Ah, uh, when Jesus, let the church say Jesus, Jesus, came to the place, the Bible says he looked up and saw him and said to him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I was to abide at thy house. The Bible says he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. But when the other folk saw it, they all almost saying that he wrong to be guests with a man that was sinner. But they didn't realize they were sinners themselves. Praise boy. Ah, Zacchaeus, preach boy, take a time, stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, I have my goods I give to the poor. Can I preach it? And if I've taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him fourfold. And that I, Jesus said, yeah. uh, This day of salvation come to this house. For as much as he also healed a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Yeah. Uh, Zacchaeus confessed his sin. Uh -huh. But if you were in Sunday school this morning, and you read your Sunday school lesson, or you read it. Uh, you remember a man had two sons. Uh, I remember preaching this message once, uh, and that wasn't me because the Lord blessed me with two sons. Get out of The young one said uh, unto his father, Father, uh, uh, give me a portion of good that followed to me. And he divided unto him his living. Is that all right? And, uh, not many days. Boy. Uh -huh. The young son gathered all together. Can I preach y'all? Uh -huh. And took his journey, journey to of our country. And I need to go in for free. You don't have to be out of Monroe County to be in of our country. Uh, you can be in church uh, with your mind on your money, your money on your mind, and you in a far country. Uh, can I leave you here? Uh, you can be in church uh, with your mind on what's going on uh, on Facebook or Instagram. Uh, you are free boy and in a far country. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, my Bible tell me that uh, he wasted his substance uh, on righteous living. Uh, one might have said uh, it was wild living. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, but when uh, he spent all he had, uh, there arose, can I preach, a mighty famine in the land. Uh, and he began uh, to be in want. Uh, I heard it said, uh, old man won't uh, always come. Uh, Ain't God all right? Uh -huh. The Bible says uh -huh. he went in German uh -huh. himself to a citizen of that country. Uh -huh. Ain't God all right? Uh -huh. And he sent him uh -huh. in the field to feed the swine. Uh -huh. Feed swine uh -huh. was a low job. Uh -huh. Ain't God all right? Uh -huh. The Bible says uh -huh. he would fain uh -huh. and a field is better uh -huh. with the husk that the swine did eat. Uh -huh. And no man uh, uh, gave to him. Uh, uh, it's 
ashamed. They want to eat the high with the laws. I had to eat the high. It's a shame for a man to want another man. It's a shame for a woman to want another woman. Can I preach to y'all here? The Bible tell me that if you don't believe, I'm telling the truth. Read about why God destroyed. Help me here. A Solomon and Gomorrah. And God alright. But when he came to himself, this is the confession part. He said, I will go to my father. And God alright. He came to himself. He began to think of what he had back home. How many high servants of my father have bread and enough to spare? And I perish here with hunger. I want you to know why he was wise and dad and his so called friends was all born. While he was riding them in the car. With a 26 inch rim uh, and a boombox blasted, uh, but his money was gone, uh, but they were gone. Uh, and God, all right, uh, you need to realize, we bought uh, who the friends are. Uh, but I know another man uh, that's a friend uh, that was sick, closer, uh, but now a brother. Uh, and God, all right, uh, he said, I'll be your Oh, I've done. I'm not 
I couldn't feel you sometimes.
many mentions. Come on in. If it was not so. 